Colorectal cancer has actually been at the forefront uh, of um, utilizing uh, ctDNA and trying to incorporate ctDNA into uh, standard of care uh, management. And uh, the uh, uses of ctDNA uh, in uh, oncology, specifically colorectal cancer, is across the spectrum, uh, ranging from uh, early detection uh, or diagnosis um, to um, the uh, minimal residual space that we just discussed, um, and also in patients with uh, established uh, cancer to uh, see uh, how well uh, the patients are responding or not uh, to uh, chemotherapy uh, or other systemic therapies, and also to monitor uh, drug resistance. Um, so, you know, across the spectrum. Now, starting with uh, the early detection, there are several uh, trials uh, ongoing, and recently uh, there was a trial uh, presented uh, using uh, the Gardent uh, assay that suggested that it had uh, reasonable uh, sensitivity um, uh, and specificity in uh, detecting patients with um, uh, colon cancer. And this may get FDA approval. Um, now, uh, with regards to minimal, minimal residual space, and that's where a lot of action uh, is happening, and and that that's where we, uh, the Circulate US trial is also uh, poised, uh, and um, um, there are several of these trials ongoing uh, throughout the world uh, as well. Uh, in the uh, realm of uh, patients with established uh, disease, I must say that um, by far where we're seeing um, uh, most activity and likely where we'll see ctDNA being used as standard of care is to monitor um, resistance to uh, targeted uh, therapies, uh, specifically in the case of uh, EGFR antibodies. So uh, CGDN is a good way to uh, detect the um, emergence uh, of uh, resistance mechanisms to track them over time uh, and to see whether we could um, uh, target these resistance mechanisms with other drugs, or just wait for these resistant clones to go away and then re-challenge with the same uh, treatment. So ctDNA uh, really, and liquid bi biopsies really provide real-time, easy access to test these sort of um, uh, uh, hypotheses. And there are trials ongoing that look uh, rather uh, promising. So bottom line, I think uh, ctDNA um, uh, and liquid biopsies are here to stay, uh, and uh, I think we'll, we'll uh, see its use uh, go up over time.